hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains, rabid and ravenous. He bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not... ...not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery, their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years, but a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain.
don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Not now, si yes? Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm, undergarments. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Stop fingering my toiletries.
old witchers fast asleep. Ceres disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruce lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! You're not in a circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. you yet. I just need to grow a bit.
Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if- But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! Any last Quick words? Cut. One, two, three. <laughs> Strong three strikes again. now. Give it all you got. Never lock your elbow when striking, young lady. Had enough? And one. Done. Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. Siri, like see how Geralt holds his sword, its angle. What am I supposed to parry? Fighting a stupid dummy. Pretend now, live later. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Maybe a storm's coming. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witcher's signs. Let's start with Quan. Jerry, Quan is sometimes called the witcher's shield. Now watch carefully to see what... Shit. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Hey, if not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. All right, Geralt. Come on. Not good. See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy their... Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. God. Axie can really muddle your mind. Heard it now. Show her, Geralt. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quinn will dampen the blow. Quick and painful.
Enough! Continue training at will! Damn it! showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. <laughs> Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. 
We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? A stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. What now, you piece of film? Pass necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment, 
Nilfgaardians requisitioned my goods. Now this. Here. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But does no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be of service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Show me what you got behind the counter.
pretty busy place you got. Nation's on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Thanks. For everything. that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Raven haired woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. More. There are four... F what a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you see will kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. 
But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done.
It's not a game for everyone. It requires an analytical mind. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. This is mine. God! Let's end this. Always heralds. Like twisting, squirming, yes. so wham, bam, they knocked his head off. I oh, so thought you'd look at it with some drown that had sapped on the king. Witcher, <laughs> had nothing to do with it. What did the folk do? <laughs> they could have sewed his head back on. Word is, they laid his corpse to rest. By pride, Hellraiser. Hey there, freak. Looking for trouble. family. Looking for trouble.
Ishtamar. Will you raise a glass with me? It's Dervan now. D-E-R-V-A-N. Not Goidemar. What do you mean? I know what they named you. Your shine upon you. What kind of name is that anyway? Dervan. Nilfgaardian. My gran was from Nazair. Oh, so that's how it is. Then by my leave, Master Dervin, may the gold sun guide you far away from my land. Kings do the fighting. It's raining and it's pouring, and Bromir is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and wet himself in the morning. You say? Who taught you that? Uh, Chetty. Now listen careful. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. And you're not to play with Chetty no more. <laughs> what now? May the sun shine upon you. Chetty's a little fool. He'll get us all killed. We'll see you with him again. Just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself, the butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Yes! 
to do what happened here oh got a wee bit chilly the night so i set fire to my forge got a nice and roaring roasted some wieners what do you think happened dimwit some bugger set a light me me workshop i've lost everything everything easy on the insults I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Faster. Let's go. Looking for trouble.
Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. 
a witcher. Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Stop! We must requisition the share of your harvest. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn! This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. Then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin. Its sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this. Shall I bring... They won't... Mizla. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actor.
monsters, monsters from the swamp. Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck, devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afeard to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me, I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. tracks rode off into the swamp. choice. Here's the cart. That box he mentioned, splattered with blood, human blood. And you find the box? Mm hmm A little wet, but intact. At last, fortune smiles my way. Yours as well, Witcher. Here, the gold I promised you. Happy trails now. Kings do the fighting.
that time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking, a few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar, something, something. Ah, good to know the Black Ones are looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night of all the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. Was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must avoid me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I, and you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. I was right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? A dawn. Another rode up to the hut, but come morn, only the first fella left, locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him, and me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose, but I've no other. Will you help me, dearie, bring an old widow or pan? I could never break down that door myself, and in truth, I'm afeard. 
to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Move it! <laughs> Eddie Glaw. Hey! Ow! I think those plums are weakened. Have a trouble. Gun. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. Ms. Love just left home. You, Ms. Love. Shh! Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm hmm. I'll show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, gut too late. Attacked another one. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. 
He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found the Nilfgaardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. Nothing to mourn. They were Nilf guardians. They were lads, like ours. Just clad in black plate. Good hunting now. Nelf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Saturated with blood. A camp. are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably.
Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Female. Larvae in her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done all I could. Should talk to Vesemir. Knows what I knows. Elsa bears her rump for the blackens. Little whore. Got a lump of bread today. It's raining and pouring and pouring. Come on now. What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of a Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going?
learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the vulpine woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. It's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there. My gran told me about the Smith boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting nearby, started poking him, asking. Well, he started twisting and squirming, so wham, bam, they knocked his head off. Aye, oh, so it were. Except it was some drowner trouble. that had sapped on the kid. Witcher had naught to do with it. What did the folk do? They could have sewed his head back on. Witcher, what's going on? Giddy up. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me. Once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. 
and that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes, well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Watch out! to dive! It's fast!
crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. A witcher with a crossbow? We breaking with tradition? Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Watch out!
It'll weaken soon! could stand to improve some things. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn.
That's it, Roach. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. No, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated.
I am Medetta, Estreth SN Novigrad. Oh. <clears throat> ah. Heard of the Vryhead Brigade? Your kind, sir. Non human. for trouble. Is it true, northern women bathe but once every three moons?
We have much work to do here. Quite a lot. Echelaine Ted had the game. Et Avon E Alma. Is it true? Northern women bathe but once every three moons. Faster. Take it easy. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria, fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it, just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Tamerian colours. 
they'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You no know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister go. attending to the birth. And you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What'd the Emperor promise you freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. It's all right. It's over. See his face! God save us! Be gone, and don't ever come back! So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you, but I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it, in Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here, some charming orchards nearby, in bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. 
Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then? We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Katwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. 
the fate of the defending commander one Arya. Voltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to an assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes and- A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there, and once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Not the way I see it. I helped a friend rescue a child. <laughs> Anais was not just any child. She was a pawn in a game you did not understand. You and Roach did not rescue her at all. At most. You moved her from one edge of the board to the other, fanning the flames of conflict. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansoville to bits. An old acquaintance, more like. Not so close that I felt bad for her, but close enough that I knew she deserved it. He believes he alone knows what is good and what is evil, and that this gives him the right to dispense justice. Your comrade Letho of Gullet described you so. Quite accurate, I'd say. My comrade, your agent. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. A ready meal, directly out of the northern
this might come as news to the gentleman. waste is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. In Grimmi et Art Kerzer, Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut, Emir var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep the order. Valian namen, wat kan favort? I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you are looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. 
This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts need not bother. Past noon, calm yourself. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Helivard the Second, Prince of Elysia. Not only am I made to wait here like some supplicant. Rad Sliden er enigt es tun es es ist sau schön. Es ist gleich. Es ist regen. Civilization ends in this camp's boundary. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Hmm. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt. Don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Emir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. <laughs> <laughs>